Welcome back, friends and frenemies, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, English size them, and then make funny noises. I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and cross dressing vagabond, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we have the third installment in our seven part Shochan miniseries, the cover of which you can see on the screen right now. If you have yet to see the previous episodes, you can find links to them in the description down below. But chapter three takes us to Akaishiro, Castle Red. I mean, okay, so if you want to be more literal, you could say the Red Castle, but Castle Red sounds more metal. <laughs> and, you know, as anyone knows, if my translations are anything, they are certainly an a labor and existential nihilism. <laughs> so let's get started. Left behind by the others, Sho asks the princess, what exactly is this evil you mentioned? She responds, there are three of them, but I can't say precisely what it is they are. Win or lose, we're going to have to give this all we got. <laughs> They're so horrifying. All of a sudden, the princess leapt up like a coiled spring. What what's wrong? Her fa- oops. Her face had gone completely white. I can hear its voice. So the text uses the word mamono and you can see that on the right there a lot um the evil. <laughs> it uses it a lot. Um but I'm going to do you all sol- solid and just say it for the most part. <laughs> it's here. It- it's finally come. Show heard it as well, and so he quickly ushered the princess off to another room. Over here, if you don't mind. Like, get over here, but please. (laughs) Where he hurriedly changed into her clothes. Yeah, yeah, this'll work. He opened the castle gate and left the princess hidden in that other room. I don't want you to have to see this. Remember what happened to the centaurs? <laughs> Sho did up his face just like the princess and sat himself in the seat at the front of the hall. By and by, the beast could be heard approaching the entrance to the castle. Ooh. It was only a moment before a creature with the head of a lion and the body of a man entered inside. So is it just me, or does this dude kind of look like a really buff version of the Cowardly Lion? I mean, look at those calves. Oh, thank you so much for leaving the gate open. His eyes were dazzled by all he saw around him. (coughs) Hmm, the princess is over there. The creature walked right up to where Sho was seated. It opened its deep red maw and said, Give me your jewels. You there, do you know why I've come? Is that why you left the gate open for me? Sho, still playing the part of the princess, gingerly kneeled down on the ground. I've been patiently awaiting your arrival. I'm sorry about the terrible girl's voice. Waiting your arrival. What did you say? Sho added, but before I can hand over my treasures to you, you must make me your wife. You will become the most powerful king in the entire world. (laughs) So bad. (laughs) The evil creature smiled deep in his heart, and a glad expression took over his countenance. His face. You know, the, the, the part you look with. Whatever. Oh, I I see. I like the way you think. <laughs> and so Sho fed him a number of tasty things in celebration of their nuptials. I've prepared a few treats to show you my true feelings. I can't do this voice much longer. <laughs> Drunk on wine, the evil creature stuffed its face with its hands. So, as a former, or still... 
professor of Japanese literature. It, 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 okay, it's complicated, folks. Anyway, this is a classic example of a literary device whereby the author reveals to you, the reader, the savage nature of a character just because he eats with his hands. There it is. <laughs> so remember that the next time you go out and order chicken wings. You savages. Mmm, it's so good. This is oh, this is some good booze you got here. Oh, real good. <laughs> Love the word booze. But one of the treats it shoveled into its mouth caused the vile creature to cry out, "Wah!" The creature had eaten a rock, and chewing it had caused all of its teeth and fangs to fall out. <laughs> oh, oh no, rocks! <laughs> Ma, Ishio! <laughs> What's that? That's when Sho stood himself up, all calm and collected. Those without sense are doomed to suffer! Sho took out the knife he'd hidden in his dress and leapt up to fight his foe. There's some... <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> there's there's something I've been hiding from you. I'm really Sho-chan! Yes, he actually refers to himself as Sho-chan. Sho-chan, yo. What do I want? Sho-chan, yo. Without its precious fangs, the creature had no real strength left to fight. You won't get away! Stabbed right in the boob. It's gotta hurt. Sho struck the evil creature with his knife, and it fell at his feet. I guess I'm not as weak as you thought. Sho removed the body and cleaned up all the blood. Which is nice of him, I guess. I don't want the princess to see what had to happen here. He brought the princess back out of hiding and into the open. It's okay to come out now. What, what happened to the creature? When Cho told her he'd taken care of it, she couldn't help but be a little suspicious. Are, are you sure it's gone? The body's already been disposed of. <laughs> Again, nice of him. When Cho first arrived, the princess didn't really think it was possible at all. Let me take that one again. When Sho first arrived, she didn't really think it was possible. My oh my, Sho, y you sure are strong! And scene, at least for this chapter. That's our story for today. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you really like this video, you can support my work on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga, all one word. You can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, links for which can be found in the description down below. I'll be back hopefully in the near future with another episode, but a full teaching schedule is continuing to kick me in the old caboose. Although it is the holidays now, who knows what will happen. Until then, as always, do not let the man get you down. Bye.